All right, so this is my review of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, and, um, you know, watching the trailer, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to watch this. But, um, when it comes to the Quentin Tarantino, he's a hit or a miss with me. Um,. He's a good actor, but, you know, it's just, again, a hit or a miss for me. And so I didn't know what to think of this. I did, like, a couple of his films. I believe I did a review on one of them. Yeah, I think one of them. And, um... Definitely a, a, you know, it, it was, it was a little slow in some, in the beginning, first half, uh, first hour. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I paid for it and, um, you know, the, the, so I got to watch the rest of it. Um, there's ones that I just, you know, rant or get through Netflix that, um, you know, if they're like really bad, I can't. You know, continue to watch them, and then I won't do a review on them. Um, but the the story on this is definitely keeps me intrigued through the whole thing. Definitely a surreal 1969 period piece. Um, it does evolve around, which it doesn't show in the trailers, uh, around... Uh, the Manson family, and um, a lot of these are based on um, are based on real celebrities at the time. Um, I don't know much about the who they were who they were supposed to be you know what they're like so i can't really judge if they got them correct with the way they looked or um if the acting of them was right but just the acting in general of these of the um the the people playing them definitely did a phenomenal job uh, DiCaprio and, um, I think Brad Pitt. Is it Brad Pitt? <sighs> he, he was the guy that married to, uh, Angela Lee. Um, I don't know. Um, I can tell you he doesn't age about uh, that much. Um, maybe that's the, C uh, maybe they did that on purpose, you know, added some CGI to it or something, but. Definitely a, a, a interesting piece of uh, history. Um, definitely won't tell you about the ending. That's actually what I liked about, I loved about it, and actually made me um, give it a higher rating on it. Um, I don't know the history between Karen. I, I, I briefly heard, I thought I heard um, Quartino has a history with the certain group of people in here um if you know the history of the chart of the manson family um you 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 kind of get what i'm talking about um the the thing the the down the stuff that i do have a problem with this movie is and there it, it's a criticism is the Certain shots were shot weird um, from cuts from scene to scene, and it kind of felt a little jumpy. And then also there was a lot with, with combined with those along with some other uh, s scenes, kind of felt um, Oh, what is the word I'm thinking of?
Anyways, um, I can't think of the word, but the movie was definitely, another thing I have criticism is that it was pretty much three hours long, um, or at least about, and, you know, I, I'm glad it wasn't boring, I'm glad, I'm glad it picked up after a while, but I just don't like more than two hour long movies. Um two thirty is or two twenty. Um I can I can deal with um little little wiggle room on that. Um you know, but is it ward winning? Um you know I don't know anymore. Um what is ward winning, what's not. The whole award thing is this you know, it's this not as good as it used to be, um, or you, what it used to be, uh, and um, I mean it is what it is. Uh, it's just kind of overrated at this point, because um, you can't really, you don't really know which is actually, you know, is there something behind it or something? Because there's been stuff that came out about it, but. That's just me rambling. Um, what, what I would give this five out of five stars. Uh, I originally was going to give it four out of five stars, um, but I because of how kind of feel a little stretched in the beginning. But um, this is a solid five out of five stars. And um, is it one of his best movies? Honestly. It, it's it, it's in the three pet uh, uh, main three. Uh, I would have to say um, I haven't seen Pulp Fiction in years, so I don't know on that. Um, uh, honestly, though, something that surprised me about this movie before I let you go is the fact that there wasn't really a lot of blood and gore in here. Usually, Cornetito does like an over the top blood scene. So, definitely something not normally him. And, um, but anyways, I uh, just review has gone long enough. Um, so please like and subscribe. And, uh, happy holidays, everyone, and stay safe and stay warm.